Hi, today I'm going to do a look using some of the really strong blues and green eye colours that I have in my kit because those shades were featuring quite a bit in the spring summer shows and I've also noticed that they are coming through a lot for autumn winter. So I'm going to do some kind of a look, I'm not sure exactly what yet, on um, the lovely model Maif. Uh, it'll probably be quite peacocky because those kind of shades lend themselves to a kind of peacocky eye. I'm going to do something quite fun, um, something quite dramatic and a little bit exaggerated, so good for a club or a party. And um, I've also got some quite fun eyelashes that have peacocky feathers on them, so I'm going to try and weave those into it as well. So let's see what we get, and um, I hope you like the look. I'm going to start by using NARS Pro Prime all over the eyelids. Next I'm going to use some Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in number 22. I'm just going to put this straight onto Maeve's eyelids and blend in the edges a little bit. So that's just a good base of the aqua cream and now I'm going to use the NARS pencil in Larger Than Life just to map out a shape. So that's the kind of shape I'm going for. So I'm just filling in between the lines now. Okay, moving on to the eyeshadow, I'm going to use this loose powder by L'Oreal using a damp brush so I can get quite a good amount of product. So just start to apply the shadow on top and then blending that seam. There's a lot of fallout which is why I'm going to do foundation later. Next I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Midnight Blue slightly glittery liner. This is number six. Push that into the roots of the lashes. I'm going to trace that along the lower first little bit of the blue wing as well. And then underneath, let's start at the inner corner and just trace a line. Now using the same colour, but I'm going to take the liner off onto a brush just going to go over that and just make it neater. Your very, very long eyelashes are getting in the way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Next I'm going to use this Inglot colour which is very tealy and quite shimmery. This is number 32. I'm just going to use that to blend in those two edges in between the blue and the green. It doesn't look that much different but it's just taking the graduation a little bit smoother. Before I clean up cheeks and things, I'm just going to put a little bit of this Max Factor pencil at the inner corner. I just like this colour, it's really very iridescent. Before I carry on with the rest of the eye makeup, I'm going to use these fake lashes with these beautiful teal feathers on the, the end. They're from Mr. Mascara. I just need to trim a couple off the inner corner because they're a little bit too long across. Now just before I stick them on, just put a tiny bit of black mascara and then just drop them into place. Pull them out a little bit more I think. Okay, so I'm just going to leave those to dry for a moment. Just open your eyes for me, just check they're not sticking. Okay, let's let those dry. Next I'm going to use Lizelle Sheer Tint in number one. This is like a tinted moisturiser, a little bit more coverage but same sort of effect. I'm going to use minimum product so the skin looks practically as if there's nothing on it at all. Next I'm going to use Healthy Mix Concealer in number 52. Just look up for me. Just under the eyes mainly. And just blend that along underneath the line. I'm also going to do a little bit of smaller concealing as well. Okay, now for brows, just going to use this gel by MAC and just brush through them. I'm not going to use any powder or darken them at all. Back to eyes, and it's really annoying me this lash, sorry, this feather here is really twisting out. 
But I guess that's just the way they are, that they're slightly random. Okay, I'm going to use some black liner. Look up for me. This is Black Track by MAC along the waterline. Next I'm going to use Black Track again just to blend in the lashes at the inner corner. I'm going to go back in with my mascara, which is Bourjois Volumizer. I'm using step one, which is the first brush at the top. This time I'm using it for the lower lashes. Just look up for me. I'm going to give quite a bit of drama there. So they mimic the feathers. So I'm going to make them nice and long and dramatic, like spiders' legs. We call them flies' paws. Flies' what? Paws. Paws? Yeah. I think you mean, do you mean flies' legs? Like the legs of the flies? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't, in English, you don't say flies' paws. You say paws for like um, dogs and cats and bears and things. But that's, With cushiony feet. Yeah, like cushiony feet, they're paws. Oh. You say flies' legs. <laughs> oh, well. Actually, I like that better. I'm going to say flies' paws from now on. I prefer it. Could you imagine a fly with paws? <laughs> Just imagining it. <laughs> so, okay, we've got our spider's legs, aka flies' paws, on. Next, I'm going to use Eclat Miracal highlighter. Just a bit of sheen on the top of the cheekbones, just underneath those lovely feathery lashes. Let's blend that in. Just so it catches the light a little bit. Next I'm going to use the Kevin O'Quan blusher in natural. Mainly just underneath the cheekbones, just a touch for shading. Next I'm going to use some Nukes lip balm. This is the only thing I'm going to use on lips. I just want them to look moisturised but not too shiny. For the last touch, I'm going to use some of Illamasqua's Solstice Liquid Metal. Put it onto a brush. Then I'm just going to dab that in here, in the inner corner. Just a flash at the inner corner like that. So that's the gold on. I like the gold. I think it's adding quite a lot to it. It's quite good. I like the complete look. I'm going to the box tonight and I'll certainly uh, leave it on. Really? It's perfect for the box, actually. I think so. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be, everyone's going to be wowed by you. One thing is bugging me, however. I know these are supposed to be slightly random, but I am going to tweak this side up on the feathers because the other one, I like the shape of it more. So just look down a little bit. I'm going to just sneakily. Okay, let me see now. That's better. Okay, Maeve, I think you're ready for the box tonight. I agree. <laughs> Have fun.